Hello everyone, I am Tiffany Star, and you are talking with Tiff. So, I'm a big gamer, as a lot of you know, and one of my favorite games this year was The Last of Us 2. It has amazing graphics, amazing voice acting, amazing gameplay, it controls well, and the story is great. It has twists and turns you don't see coming. I love it. So you can imagine my lack of surprise when The Last of Us 2, like its predecessor, won a ton of Game of the Year awards. Let's take a look, shall we? Whoop! Oh, Tiny Tiffany makes a return. Game of the Year is The Last of Us Part 2. Best Game Direction, The Last of Us Part 2. Best Narrative, The Last of Us Part 2. Dose. Best Art Direction, Ghost of Tsushima, another Sony IP, another great game. I suggest everyone pick it up and play it, it's amazing. Sucker Punch are masters of their craft. Best Audio Design, The Last of Us Part 2. Best Action Adventure, <gasps> Color Me Shocked, it's The Last of Us Part 2. Innovation in Accessibility, The Last of Us Part 2. Best Performance, Laura Bailey as Abby in The Last of Us Part 2. Ooh, this one's delicious because all the conservative reactionaries are going to flip their shit over this. Sensitive Society is going to piss his pants. Geeks and gamers are gonna shit their pants. The quartering is gonna piss and shit their pants. It's fucking glorious. For those of you who don't know, these reactionary cucks thought that Laura Bailey was playing a trans character in The Last of Us Part 2, which turned out to be false. They jumped the fucking gun there, and they came out looking more foolish than ever. They also didn't like the fact that Abby murdered Joel. Spoiler alert, by the way. So if The Last of Us 2 is slashing their egos to pieces like a saber, then Laura Bailey's win is the salt you rub into the wounds afterwards. And that brings us to the main part of this video. Shitting on reactionaries. All you have to do is type in The Last of Us Wins Game of the Year, and once you get past the initial videos that are actually talking about the game winning the Game of the Year award, you can scroll down and see all the reactionary fucks. Now, full disclosure, I do think The Last of Us 2 deserved to win. However, I want to remind everyone how awful the management treated the staff at Naughty Dog. They pushed them too hard and forced them to crunch at ridiculous hours. A business practice I don't agree with, so fuck Naughty Dog management. Shout out to the developers, though. You made an excellent game under super stressful conditions, and I know it was hard, and I appreciate the product you put out using your blood, sweat, and tears. So bravo. This Game of the Year award is yours, not your fucking bosses. Remember that. So let's check out some of the reactionaries melting down over this news. Game Awards Backlash. Rigged Last of Us 2 win causes gamer revolt. Really? I don't really see a gamer revolt going on, do you? And what do you mean rigged? How is it rigged? Maybe one of these videos will let us know. By the way, you can tell this is a reactionary video because they imposed Greta Thunberg's head on a jacked body, mocking Abby. Which is reactionary move 101. Let's see if these other cucks do it. The Game Awards 2020 was pathetic by Griffin Gaming. Now, I haven't seen a Griffin Gaming video yet. We'll go over one at some point. But Griffin Gaming is a reactionary. He's very low IQ. He has a small penis. He's one of those anti-social justice warrior types. And by anti-social justice, he means gay, lesbian, trans, black. Basically anyone that's not a white straight male. So after we pass that incel, Manic says The Last of Us 2 wins everything at the Game Awards, which we already know it doesn't. It says right here that Doom Eternal, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Ghost of Tsushima, Hades, Animal Crossing, New Horizons also won. So this guy is definitely fucking baiting here. Just read his description. The woke frauds have kept Naughty Dog happy as The Last of Us 2 wins big at the Game Awards. And by woke, he means people who actually will put diversity in their games because they're not racist, homophobic pieces of shit. And here we go, Geeks and Gamers, the Rigged Game Awards, The Last of Us Part 2 wins everything. Did we just read this fucking title? Yeah, we just read this. Look, Geeks and Gamers put the Rigged Game Awards, The Last of Us Part 2 wins everything. And immediately up here, not even three videos later, it's The Last of Us 2 wins everything. Are they just like copying each other's titles? We already went over this. They didn't win everything. These people are so fucking triggered. All right, so let's focus on a couple of these videos. Let's focus on the ones that say the Game Awards were rigged. And let me tell you right now, not one of these limped dicked incels are going to be able to explain how the awards were rigged. Not one of them. They won't 
won't be able to fucking do it. Trust me, they're reactionaries. They don't base anything off facts or data. They just say whatever the fuck comes to their tiny pea-brained minds as the day goes by. So let's start with Geeks and Gamers. This guy looks pretty fucking stupid. Okay, so I just edited out an ad, and the ad said you should subscribe to my channel and my alternate channel, Star Power. That's S-T-A-R-R-P-O-W-E-R. -R -E Star Power. A combination of my name and the power-up from Super Mario. So don't forget to subscribe there, as well as here. Alright, fuckface, let's see what you got. What's up, Geeks and Gamers? It's Jeremy, coming to you with another video, and today we are talking about the Rigged Game Awards. So right off the bat, he's like, hey everyone, we're just talking about how the Game Awards were rigged. Oh shit, he must have some super secret intel that we don't know about. Tell us how it was rigged, please. Because uh, it played out exactly like anyone with half a brain knew it would. The Last of Us Part 2 cleaned up and won Game of the Year at the Rigged Game Awards. He says the awards were rigged, not just once, but twice, and we're not even 20 seconds in yet. But his reasoning for it being rigged is that we all knew it would win because the game is really good and popular and a stunning achievement, both technically and visually. So that makes it rigged because it was so good. What the fuck is this guy talking about? I watched a lot of it. Some of it, I was doing some other things in the background. There were some cool moments. And I like how this guy admits that he wasn't even paying attention to the entire Game Awards. So how the fuck would he know they were rigged? You know what it was? The moment he turned away from the screen, Naughty Dog came out with fucking AKs and pointed it at Jeff Knightley and said, You better give us at least a majority of the awards. You better fucking do it. And if you don't, we're gonna fucking blow you away. And then as soon as he looked back, they retreated behind the curtains into the shadows. <laughs> but overall, it was a dog and pony show, just like all award shows. Uh, yeah. All award shows are dog and pony shows. What does that have to do with how the awards were rigged? Last of Us Part 2, uh, this award that it won. Uh, so the very first award for in innovation in accessibility goes to The Last of Us Part 2. Incredible. This was strange. Like, this whole thing about, like, the two people, like, <laughs> presenting it and, like, this this woman standing outside, the the chat was going crazy, and it was so strange. So he's talking about this video on the Game Awards Twitter, but I haven't seen this video, so I don't know what the context is. I don't know how this is weird. Maybe he was just presenting it, and she was walking by, and he's like, hey, join in, and she's like, hey... Or maybe she was just out there because she's doing work, and when it was time to present the award, he's like, Hey, over here! Or maybe he invited her in, but she said no, do the social distancing, or whatever. I don't fucking know the context, but what I do know is that this has nothing to do with the awards being rigged, which is the whole point of this video. I'm still waiting for this dumb fuck to tell me why the game awards were rigged. It just kind of puts it all in perspective how nonsensical things have gotten to the point where these two people are, like, one person's sitting inside, and then I, I love how The Last of Us or Naughty Dog is supposed to be this all-inclusive company, and and yet you've got the, the white male sitting there making the woman stand outside. Why are you saying that he made her stay outside? Was that in the video? Did he say, get the fuck out, stand behind the glass, that's where you belong, and then go back to the kitchen when you're done? This guy doesn't know what the fuck's going on. He's just assuming shit. And you know what? None of this has to do with the Game Awards being rigged! Oh my god, reactionaries are so fucking stupid. Oh, why do they have platforms? YouTube, make a TOS saying that reactionaries with IQs that are below 5 can't make videos. That right there is male feminist right there if I've ever seen it, but... I don't know why this guy who is a known Trump supporter is talking about feminism as if he gives a fuck. Also, he's talking about the white man making the woman stand behind the glass, not even in the same room. You think he'd be down for that? Trump supporters fucking love controlling women, especially their bodies. I don't really know what was going on with with this, but just how it looks. It looks really strange. And everyone in the chat was like, what the hell is going on? Like, it was very weird to watch this. What does this have to do with the awards being rigged? You fuck stick. How does this dumb fuck redneck have 282k fucking subscribers? He's saying nothing. He's saying fucking nothing. I can make a video just like this. I can be like, here. 
Here's why the Video Game Awards are rigged. The Last of Us 2 won the Game of the Year Award, and you know why? It's because they were talking about pies at the concession stand. They didn't want pies, they wanted cake, and it was funny because this one woman had a cupcake, but the white guy said, can I have a piece, because he's chauvinistic. What a feminist that guy was, and that's why it was all rigged! <laughs> <laughs> this guy's saying fucking nothing! Fucking nothing! Holy shit. Now I want a cupcake. There's our boy, Neil Druckmann, the guy who, uh, again, in Hollywood, you fail upwards. Neil Druckmann has uh, recently gotten a promotion at Naughty Dog and uh, clearly winning game of the year because in Hollywood, you fail upwards, and that's exactly what has happened. Does anyone count video game developers or studios as Hollywood? They make media. That doesn't mean it's Hollywood. Hollywood is fucking specific. Hold on. Hollywood. Its name has come to be a shorthand reference to the US film industry. That has nothing to do with game making. Yeah, you can fucking mocap people or you'll use actors and actresses in the game, but it's not a film. That's why they're making an Uncharted film. A Metal Gear Solid film. It's why they've made Resident Evil films. And they don't call the games fucking Hollywood blockbusters because the games aren't fucking film. Stop conflating Hollywood with the gaming industry. This guy's just so fucking dumb fuck. My brain cells are trying to kill themselves. They're just trying to end it. They're like, no, stop watching this. If you don't, we'll just start killing ourselves. Pew, pew, pew. And you know what? I still have five minutes of this video left. Phil Spencer, uh, did you ever get into one of the Xbox Live Modern Warfare 2 lobbies? And you want to say console wars is toxic, toxic behavior. It's just this pathetic beta male mentality that is running rampant all over the entertainment industry. What are you talking about? And what is the beta male mentality? Do you want to elaborate? I seriously don't know what this guy's fucking talking about. I really don't. All I know is this guy is really, really, really fucking dumb. Funny that he says beta male when it doesn't look like he works out a day in his fucking life. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't be throwing the word beta around so liberally. Generally speaking, gamers uh, did not like The Last of Us Part 2. It oh, really? The Last of Us Part 2 sold over 4 million copies worldwide. Oh, guess gamers hate that fucking game. That's why it sold over 4 million copies, you stupid stooge. I'm not saying that there aren't people out there that didn't enjoy the game because there are people out there that enjoyed that game. But it definitely disappointed a lot of people. Yeah, you can say that about any game. Not everyone's going to like every single game. For example, I played through Animal Crossing New Horizons until K.K. Slider came to my island. And even though I think it's a good game, it's not for me. But that could be said about any fucking game. So he's really just saying nothing here. He's like, some gamers do like the game and some don't. Wow! Pfft. Fucking, oh, thanks for that revelation, idiot. Oh, I never would have thought of that. You say some games are liked by some people and not by others? Fucking, oh my god, this guy. He should be writing fucking literature. The next Confucius here. Give me all your knowledge. Holy fuck. Oh, my brain is it's just flooding in with all the intellect coming out of this guy's maw. I just started playing Cyberpunk 2077. I'm surprised he got Cyberpunk 2077 since it has a ton of woke stuff in it. Uh, obviously, I've played Animal Crossing New Horizons, and I very much enjoy that game as well. I don't really care what you enjoy. I want to hear why the awards were rigged. We also had Brie Larson. Brie Larson started the night off to present an award to the actress that portrayed Abby. Oh, that's a double fucking whammy! I didn't know that! Brie Larson, she played Captain Marvel, and because of her comment on white men, oh, the reactionaries are fucking seething. So how pissed off were they when someone they perceived as an anti-white male icon, which she's not, by the way, Brie Larson is totally poggers, but having someone they associate with hating white men, presenting an award to someone they hated because they thought it was a trans woman, Mm. Ah, fucking delicious. <laughs> also, do you see the hypocrisy there? They're upset with Brie Larson because of her comments, but they don't give a fuck about attacking Abby for being trans, even though it turns out she wasn't. <laughs> Reactionaries are so fucking idiotic. They can't put themselves in other people's shoes if their life depended on it. I have no problem with Laura Bailey. It's more about the character of Abby and the fact that you've got the wokeness of Brie Larson. Oh! Oh, what's so woke about Brie Larson? Are you going to go over it? Let's see if he gives us any context to how Brie Larson's woke. My guess is he won't. Presenting a woke award 
to a woke character in Abby. Okay, so he just said woke a bunch of times in a row, but still hasn't specified what he means by woke. So how about we help him out? So this guy is anti-woke, which means he's anti-alert to the injustice in society, especially racism. But that could also be any marginalized group like trans people or lesbians or Muslims. So when he says woke, he's saying, I'm anti-everything that's not straight white male. Don't take my fucking word for it. This is the meaning of the word! I guarantee you 110,000% that this guy is racist or homophobic or both. There's no way he can't be. He's a Trump supporter, which means he's either rich, stupid, an asshole, a mix of the three, or all three. But he's not none of them. And judging by how he's talking, he's definitely a fucking asshole and he's definitely stupid. I don't know how much money he's making off his channel, but he could be all three. He could be a wealthy, dumb fuck redneck. Now, obviously, I don't know if he's actually actually homophobic and transphobic and racist, but you can inductively reason he is by looking at his videos and what he complains about. To be fair, a lot of the reactionaries are in the same boat. I know John Tron's racist as fuck. These people don't know how to hide their bigoted power levels anymore. Their dog whistles are like dog fucking cannons. Psst, psst saying shit like woke without any fucking context so you can just insert your own definition of what woke is to you and to his audience woke means anti-white pro-lgbtq pro-black pro-asian pro-diversity in general that's what they mean by woke we're getting off topic we're supposed to be finding out why the awards were rigged and i'm sure this guy is gonna tell us right right it's all rigged it's all rigged to push whatever nonsensical narrative they want the only nonsensical narrative going on is yours. You've made a video that's seven and a half minutes long, and you've said fucking nothing. And do you remember the title of your video? The Rigged Game Awards! Well, how about you explain how it's rigged? Are we ever gonna get there? Do we have to wait till 10 seconds before the video ends where he'll go, Oh, by the way, the awards were rigged because Naughty Dog paid them off, bye. If you're gonna make a claim and you don't want it to be baseless, then maybe provide data, maybe some evidence. Do you have, like, a graph or something? Do you have an article by someone reputable? Do you have fucking anything besides your own stupid thoughts? And uh, just another laughing stock of an award show. These reactionaries clearly don't think it's a laughing stock because they're crying like baby bitch boys and posting YouTube videos about Wah, Ghost of Tsushima didn't win. Wah. And that's what's actually funny. If we're able to get geeks and gamers to, to that level, I would love for us to maybe on our website or our app, you know, work up something where our community can, can vote directly on the game of the year and the, and then our staff can do the same thing. Oh yeah, maybe you can be sponsored by Brightbot or OAN. Fuck, maybe QAnon will hop on there for you and they'll start making videos about how the pedophiles want everyone to play The Last of Us 2 to make them transition into women. But those are the kind of advertisers he'll want because those are the kind of people he caters to. And you can actually have a legitimate process that's not pushed by any specific narrative. Or it is though! You're a fucking Trump supporter catering to fucking conservatives. No one watches this unless they're either A, a dumb fuck conservative, aka just a conservative, or B, to make fun of you like I am and point out your stupidity. That's it? That's the only reason people watch you. So if you get a website, you're going to be like Paula. Everyone on there is going to be right-leaning. That's a fucking narrative. Well, let's check out your YouTube channel. The Last of Us Part 2 fans attack women for having opinions, and they're using, like, a super old meme of a feminist that was back in, like, what, fucking 2010 or whatever? Conservatives need to get some new fucking memes. Disney tries to force Gina Kerr to apologize for her opinions. It's not her opinions. It's because she's a transphobic loon, and her opinions harm people. People. Woke journalists hate Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, totally bipartisan, no agenda there, people. Don't look into it at all. We here have a, a very diverse staff, and when I say diverse, uh, unlike Hollywood and unlike the mainstream, uh, that includes Trump supporters, includes non-political people. It also includes people that don't like Trump. It also includes people that are from any different perspectives. We're diverse. We have Republicans that like Trump. We have Republicans that don't like Trump. We have people who are apolitical but hate woke people. Oh, what about your black employees? Uh, uh, uh. What about your trans women employees? Oh, well, that's fine as long as they use the men's restroom. <laughs>
So fucking inclusive. Wow, the diversity is fucking stunning here. So when he says diverse, what he means is not diverse. And that's how it should be. Whereas in Hollywood, at Naughty Dog, or the Game Awards, let me find where there's pro-Trump people on their staff. When they say diversity, they're talking about gender equality, racial equality, LGBT equality, arbitrary things they can't control. But you're talking about a political affiliation. That's like saying, listen, because we choose to be really fucking racist and transphobic and stupid, you have to accept us. We're not like you. We're fucking bigots. We hate you and want you dead. So you have to accept us, otherwise you're not diverse. And if you think that's hyperbole, you haven't been paying attention to the fucking right wing lately, holy shit. And it's not about having that voice because I agree with it, it's about the fact that they've demonized someone with that opinion so much, yet they want to preach about diversity and inclusion and representation, which is bullshit. People do not have to be tolerant of people who want you dead. If you work with someone who's black or trans or Muslim, none of that hurts you, none of that affects you. You work with a Trump supporter, you know that they want you dead for being black, a trans woman, a Muslim. So no, it's not the same. It's not an opinion. It's a fucking fact that you people are scum. You Trump supporters are literally fucking terrible people living in your own worlds. A fucking awful authoritarian bullshit world that we want to keep you from creating. So, keeping you excluded from the people with actual brains is important, which is why we don't like to include you in fucking anything. Additionally, this is the end of his video. Where's the fucking reason that the awards were rigged? Where is it? Where's the evidence? What did I fucking tell you all? This guy is not going to fucking mention why the awards were rigged because they fucking weren't. I was planning on watching more videos today because if we go backwards, we've got so many people we have to go over and I only have time tonight for one. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Don't watch these guys. They're dumb fuck. They say nothing. They just try to promote their anti-woke shit without actually saying why they're anti-woke. So I might make a part two of this video just shit on more reactionary conservatives. We'll see. Thanks for watching. I love you all, except for conservatives. Go play hide and seek inside a nuclear reactor.